Hi, this is Chris Kilkenny with paperfairychris.blogspot.com and today I wanted to show you how to make a pop-up card using the Berry Christmas Suite which is in the new holiday mini catalog. So what makes this card special is that when you open it up there's a gift bag that pops up in the center and it's just the right size to hold a gift card and the cool thing is that it folds flat and you can mail it in a regular envelope in the mail. So we'll be using the Berry Christmas stamp set. We'll be using the Christmas Tidings embossing folder. We'll be using one of the Berry Christmas Memories and More cards from the card pack. And the Berry Christmas designer series paper, the 12 by 12 designer series paper. We'll use this little one with the presents. The back has the sweater pattern, so that's really cute. Okay, let's get started. To create the base of your card, you'll need a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock, which measures five and a half inches by nine inches, with the nine inch side at the top scored at three and one quarters of an inch and seven and a half inches. Next, you'll need a piece of copy paper that measures four inches by 10 and a half inches. With the four inch side at the top, you're going to score a half of an inch on the left side and one inch on the right side. Next, you'll turn it to where with the 10 and a half inch side at the top and you'll score at a half of an inch, one inch, five inches, five and a half inches, six inches, and 10 inches. Now you want to cut some notches following your score lines as a guide. So you'll cut out your four corners and you'll cut out the two middle pieces. You're cutting out two of the rectangles here. and then cut out the notches on the last two corners. Now we are going to be embossing this with the Christmas Tidings embossing folder, but before we emboss, you'll want to make sure that you fold all of your score lines. Um, sometimes when you use an embossing folder, it really makes an impression and hides those lines. So make sure that you fold them so that they don't like disappear into the embossing. So when you emboss, you'll have to do um, one side of the bag at a time. And so your longer edge is going to be the top. So I just did it in sections. I just embossed the front of the bag and then the back of the bag or the left side and then the right side. Okay, now fold your bag. It's going to have gusseted sides. And we want to um, poke the holes to make our little handles for the bag. You can use um, baker's twine or any kind of um, thin ribbon that you have. 
I'm using the Fan Baker's twine. Um, it's currently in the clearance rack right now. So I went down about a quarter of an inch from my score line. And then I, the bag's four inches long. So I measured in to poke my holes with my take your pick tool. Let's see here. Just kind of wherever you think you want your bags. Just kind of, you know, put it, center it. Um, yeah, with two inches is your middle mark. So I put my, my holes at one and a half inches and two and a half inches. Now turn it over and you're going to stick these down with a piece of tear and tape. Kind of measure it, make sure that they're even where you want them. And then you're going to put another piece of tear and tape over that that will attach that flap down. And this will re really reinforce it so that those little strings stay in there. Okay, stick, stick your flaps down. And then you'll want to go ahead and put another piece of tear and tape on the side to make your other gusseted edge. I always pick it up and look at it and fold it before I stick anything down to make sure I've <laughs> got it right. It's kind of hard to show you and do it <laughs> on camera. Okay, now leaving the bottom flaps out You'll put a piece of tear and tape on either side. And then you're going to center it right in the center of that card. Just stick down one side at a time. It makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to release the tape on this first edge. And really, not the back yet, just that top part. And then stick that down. Now release the tape on the back. And then you can stick that side down. Now we'll decorate the rest of the car. We're using the Berry Christmas Designer Series paper and one of the cards from the Memories and More card pack. Um, let's start with a band. So you'll, you can get like two card fronts out of one of the Memories and More card. On one, I use the top of it. On, on the other one, I use the bottom of it. Um, I just cut it off at one and one and a half inches. So you can use one and a half inches at the top and one and, a one and a half inches on the bottom. And it's going to be mounted on two pieces, pieces of real red cardstock. 
So I used the Warm Wishes in Night of Navy from the Berry Cute stamp set. And then the two red pieces measure three and a quarter by one and three quarters, and then three and one eighth by one and three eighths. So you can, if it's, you can do it by like a quart, you know, quarter of an inch, but I kind of just wanted just like a, you know, an eighth of an inch edges kind of poking out there. I just thought it just, I don't know. I just wanted to try something different. I liked it this way. So this very cute suite, it's on page 22 and 23 of the new mini catalog. And so I'm using the Berry Christmas Designer Series paper. I have one piece of that present paper that's three by five and a quarter. Two inches that, two, two pieces that are one and a quarter inch by five and a quarter inch. And then I have a little strip that's three and a quarter by five and a quarter. You'll need a piece of basic white cardstock that measures two inches by five and a quarter. And you can write, you know, use this to write something inside your card. Okay, and then the band, the little belly band, it measures two inches by 11 and a half inches. And I didn't, didn't score it or anything, I just folded it over really tight and then glued it down on the back. To itself, not to the card. <laughs> And then I used a piece of the Fan Baker's Twine to just tie a little bow on the side. Um, you can use the jute ribbon, jute twine as well. Anything you have on hand. And I love how this will fold flat to fit inside of an envelope. Okay, one more thing. There are, there's a sticker pack that comes with the Memories and More card pack. They're so cute. You can see I've used most of them. <laughs> so I wanted to add just a little matching present inside. So I think I'll use this one. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Be sure and hit the subscribe and like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to order anything that you see here, please visit chriskstampinup.net. And for more ideas, you can visit my blog at paperfairychris.blogspot.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.